fight number 11 this evening will be for the Amateur XFC Lightweight Championship and contested over five three-minute rounds. So introducing first the challenger fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 69.65 kilos and trains out of corporate box Ipswich, holding an amateur record of two wins and one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Patty Lemay. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 70.1 kilos and trains out of Game Bread Academy and Ignite Martial Arts. He holds an amateur MMA record of eight wins for only one defeat. And he is the reigning, defending XFC lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for David the Smiling Assassin Martinez. The referee in charge of the action, Peter Hickman. XFC 36 as we move into the first of our title fights, amateur lightweight title. And one of my all-time favourites, David Martinez, takes on a very tough Paddy Lamai. The smiling assassin Dibs was just where he was just warming us up with the smiles, mate, because this guy don't stop smiling. The Wombat, seriously, this guy's one of my favourite fighters. He's one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet in anywhere. It doesn't matter in MMA, in anywhere. And I don't get starstruck often. I'm here with Brian Ebersole at the moment, a little bit starstruck. But David Martinez, he does it for me. We're working Brian into the commentary booth. How are you going, big fella? Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, I had a couple of fights tonight. And a um, couple of sandwiches by the sounds of it too, Brian, while you're uh, commentating. I was supposed to be cornering in this fight, actually. Um, this is the last minute matchup with Lamai taking the fight after um, Bilal Elamar from my gym uh, had a shoulder injury. So, unfortunately... I'm sitting with you guys instead of cornering. So you would have done a, a little bit of study on him, and, and what can you tell us about David? We did not want to be on the ground with him. This kid uh, is very, very talented. He's got big pressure, and he mixes his passing and his punching very well, which is something that it takes uh, a lot of practice to actually do. And right on cue, that's exactly what he's doing. Eight, eight, one, eight one and one record, seven finishes via submission. Now look at the strength of... David Martinez, big, big slam. slam there, goes to work. Lamai has his work cut out tonight. Martinez has just about got that wrist trapped, and he does, and it's going to be left hands of destiny for the next minute until he gets that arm back. It's a little bit of a kabib time now, isn't it, mate? Lamai, a very accomplished all-rounder. He's a purple belt, and I tell you what, Martinez is going to have his work cut out if he wants to submit him. He's very, very hard to submit. As Martinez looks to isolate that right arm with his knee. He's landing hard shots with his left here. And it opens up there nicely. The smiling assassin. Like Brian said earlier, there's a late minute replacement here for Paddy Lamai. Only a week and a half or so. It's not the way you want to start. Obviously, he's not bad on the ground himself. He's pretty accomplished in jiu-jitsu. But when you come into a late-notice fight, you want to get a bit of a fast start. And weathering a storm, um, he's got to take a bit of confidence. Away. Some big shots landed there by Martinez. He's placing his shots very, very nicely. Yeah, he's very composed. He's very heavy from this top position. And Lamai, he's got his work cut out. As you can see down the bottom left-hand side of the screen, Ebersole just clearing his mouth with one of those sandwiches. He's out in about 15 since he's been sitting here. Martinez doing a great job on top. 15 fifths, which is only three. Now, boys, if uh, Martinez gets the win tonight, I'd like to see him step up to the pro ranks. He's certainly going to be a force to reckon with there, and I'd love to see a match-up maybe in the future, wouldn't they? Uh, Hardman versus Martinez be a cracker. Wow, let's 
Let's not go there. Okay, let's not get crazy. Let's, let's not, not get, get crazy. crazy. Nice and early. All right, eh? I said it. I said it. Oh, I know I delivered you a beer, mate. You've had two sips. Calm down. One fourth of a Seconds out. Oh, referee in charge. Big Pete Hickmont. No stranger to centre cage. He's been there, done it all. Round number two of this uh, five by three minute bout. Lightweight amateur title up for grabs. Great start by the champ. And I'll tell you what, we haven't seen him in the cage for a little while because he got married. But he's looking more improved than when he left the cage. Nice right hand there though from Batty. So are you saying David Martinez is a better fighter than David Russell? I actually am. That's 100% correct, mate. Because I was looking up fights for David Russell on YouTube when I was trying to study him as we were going to bring Blau over here to fight him. And then we got offered a fight two days later for Dave Martinez, though it was Dave Russell two days before. I was very confused. Yeah, he got married. He took his wife's name. Yeah, he did. That's why he's fighting like a demon. He's earning his manhood back. Here he goes. Eversol has finish. discovered the I'm secret. Telling you, I'm telling you, he's motivated himself. In a very, very strange and transition. Martinez now steps way. over into the mount position. Hey, that's technical and that has no place in this commentary, Mr. Livingston. Transition Livingston's. nicely onto back. And just like that, he's got his back. Let's try and look for that neck now. Flatten him out. Find that leverage. He's going to push his chin down here. It's nearly sliding under. He's underneath. locked in that figure four. Oh, it's under. It's under. It's over. David Martinez again. Very nicely done. Ebersol, talk me through that, mate. That was full control throughout the whole fight for the champion. Like I said, his passing and, and, and punching was fantastic in the first round. That wears people down. And well, a big thank you, Gangster Raps, now in the cage with us to crown our champion. But ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute and 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring your winner by submission due to a rear naked choke. And still, the XFC lightweight champion, David, the smiling assassin, Russell. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Ann Steele, the XFC lightweight champion, owner of what I believe now is a nine-fight win streak. That's got to be one off, if not the longest win streak in Australian amateur MMA. Coming into uh, the cage tonight, did you know that your wrestling and grappling were going to be the difference? Oh, man, I've got perhaps the best team behind me, and that's the difference. You know, these people here believe in me, and that's why I do what I do. Yeah, great team behind you, Ignite Martial Arts, Gamebred Academy, doing an amazing job now. Nine and one, I believe it is, as an amateur. What's next? Uh, let's go professional. Let's go professional. Yeah, what do you say, people? Let's go professional. Got any plans now for the start of your pro career? Ah, uh, uh, let's see what we come up with. Yeah. We'll see what we come up with. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry, Nelson. Happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday, Nelson. Another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Your champion, David, the smiling assassin, Russell.